Why is it called a semiconductor radio? Because the first commercial product of semiconductor transistors was the semiconductor radio. When radios first appeared, they used vacuum tubes. Later, semiconductor transistors appeared, and the first product made of semiconductors was radios. So semiconductors also became synonymous with semiconductor radios. It is also used to distinguish between vacuum tube radios and semiconductor radios. The principle of semiconductor radio the basic working principle of radio. Since humans discovered that they could use radio waves to transmit information, they have been constantly researching different methods to increase the reliability of communication, the distance of communication, the miniaturization of equipment, power saving, lightness, etc. The receiver used to receive information, commonly known as radio. The current radio receiver can not only receive sound, but also receive images such as television sets, digital information such as telegraphs, etc. With the development of broadcasting technology, Radios are also constantly being updated and replaced. In the more than half a century since the development of radio broadcasting in 1920, radios have experienced three generations of changes, tube radios, transistor radios, and integrated circuit radios. The functions are becoming more and more diverse and the quality is improving day by day. Since the beginning of the 1980s, radios have been developing in the direction of circuit integration, digital display, stereo sound, computerized functions, and miniaturization of structure. The radio station broadcasts programs by first converting sound into audio electrical signals through a microphone, which are amplified and modulated by a high-frequency signal, carrier. At this time, a certain parameter of the high-frequency carrier signal changes according to the audio signal, so that the audio signal we want to transmit is contained in the high-frequency carrier signal. The high-frequency signal is then amplified and then forms a radio wave when the high-frequency current flows through the antenna and radiates outward. The propagation speed of radio waves is 3 times 108 meters per second. This kind of radio wave is received by the radio antenna and then amplified and demodulated to restore it to an audio electrical signal. It is sent into the speaker coil and causes corresponding vibration of the paper basin. This can restore sound, which is the process of sound electric conversion transmission electric sound conversion. 